Hi, it's Lee here and welcome to my art journey. Today, I welcome you into my studio where I'd like to take you through the process of what happens after you've painted your masterpiece. Now this will involve sealing your acrylic painting and the next episode will be about varnishing your artwork. Now I know there's a lot of talk about these two subjects. You've painted your masterpiece and I don't want to ruin my artwork. So today I'll take you through just the sealing process. A lot of artists are really worried about this process, especially new artists who've never done it before or have only done it a few times and are still concerned. Hope to alleviate that for you today. So please watch along. So I'd like to share with you the products I use for this acrylic painting. Now I'm not endorsed by anyone. I don't get paid to show you these products. It's just what I personally use. So here it is. Uh, Atelier Interactives, um, I really do like these uh, acrylic paints, they, they are exceptional. Uh, Australian product, um, being a proud Tasmanian, I like to use Australian products as well. Uh, and Atelier Free Flow, now this, so these are the thicker version, uh, they come out of the tube, they're a bit stiffer, great for painting your textured stuff over the top, um, but I really love these Atelier free flows. Uh, you can get cover a lot of ground quickly. You don't have to mix a lot of medium, if any. Uh, they're just a really, really nice product to basically finish up with the Atelier inter interactives over the top of that. So today it's all about sealing your artwork, and I really like this product, the Atelier Universal Medium Varnish. It really is what the name says. It's very universal. It, I'm a big believer of using the same brand of product. So we have Atelier Base, Atelier Sealers, and I also use the Atelier Varnishes, Solvent Varnishes for me. But today is all about sealing. I want to take you through this product. Uh, the first couple of coats are diluted, uh, two to one mix, so I usually mix up for this size of painting about 75 mils um, so that means 50 mils of water so 25 mils of this universal varnish well let's get to it let's seal this painting enjoy so take a one cup 250 mil measuring jug Atelier Universal Medium Varnish. It's quite runny, so it does a lot of paintings. Good old Tasmanian bottled filtered water. Hundred mil wide, four inch foam brush. Bit of aluminium foil and a container big enough to fit the brush in with a little bit of room around each side. So we take that large dish, break off some aluminium foil big enough so we can push it down into the middle. We'll poke the uh, Foam brush down, creating this sort of ridge line along the bottom. That way our universal medium varnish will just lay in the bottom. We don't need so much to fill up a big container. So we get a finished container that looks a little bit like this. So the instructions on the back of this one says a two part water, one part varnish mix. Add the water first. Now I'm going for a 75 mils total, so that'll be 50 mils water and 25 mils universal medium. Now we add the 25 mils of medium. So 
So now it's time just to give it a little stir, just with a spoon. Just mix it through. Now I've set up this painting on one of those little folding workbenches. I've laid down a drop cloth and at the moment I'm just dusting the top of it off. It's very important to just get any, everything you can off the painting before applying anything. Just with a little brush, brushing it off. Now in the background I've poured about 40 mil into this container with the aluminium foil in it and I'm just uh, starting to load the brush up just dipping it in getting it wet now I'm just starting the process and I have a simple philosophy for this so I load the brush I apply the varnish, I smooth back over the varnish and I leave. That's it. Just move along the canvas. One final run through at the end. Just basically repeating this down the canvas. Uh, just always keep a wet edge. So in other words, I'm laying the next line of universal medium straight next to the other one overlapping slightly so it's apply smooth out leave one long brush over straight onto the next row now these foam brushes they hold quite a lot of paint they don't drip off the only time they'll drip if you turn it end on or up and down ways on the canvas you'll find that all your um, universal medium varnish will just drip all over the canvas so you've got to keep it flat the way I'm doing it here sort of flat with the canvas and nothing will run off it I'm not trying to drag it too far you can only get so far with it start to feel a little bit of resistance you stop and reload Let's give it a final wipe over. Some rows you might add too much paint. Just give it a quick once over at the end. But the important thing here with varnishing or using this sealer coat, don't go back over it. Keep moving on. Now you can have a good run with no real issues, but I ended up spilling a couple of drops on this one. Sort of just over a bit rod beam, but you just jump on it quickly, just quickly gloss over it with a brush and just quickly move on. As you can see, it's quite a quick process. I'm already more than halfway through the canvas. It doesn't take very long at all. So this is real time. I thought I'd like to show you this whole process real time just so you get a gauge for how long it takes. I know you can speed it up and make it look fast but I thought it looked better just real time. I've walked away here and just tipped a bit more out of my jug into that container. It was starting to get down quite low. Have all your gear close to and handy, ready to use. That's what's in a jug. Don't have to take the lid off anything, I'm just ready to pour it and back onto the canvas. The biggest thing with anything water based is the drying time's a lot shorter. So you have a very limited time to, use, to work with it. But this is quite forgiving, this stuff. You just put it on, seems to always look good. Now the beauty of this medium varnish is if you're happy with this process just put it on full strength 
then you, you've got your gloss coat. No need to worry. The only thing with it with archival reasons why I don't do this is it's non-removable. So 20 years down the track you want to change that top layer. Well you can't really remove it without removing heaps of paint underneath. That's why I choose to uh, use solvent base finish at the end. This seals it, locks the paint in, then I can go back over with my solvent base stuff. And you've uh, got an archival finish. Excellent. I'm just finish off the edges here, so it's literally as soon as I turn that brush on the side, it drips, so I hold my container directly underneath the foam brush. As soon as you turn it on the sort of vertical angle, it'll just drip. So it's, while it's on the flat, nothing runs out of it, so you can do all the edges on the flat. And I'll just give it a, I'll turn it on the side and just give it one long swipe along each side. But keep your container underneath it, otherwise you'll pour it all over the floor. While I'm just finishing this off, I'd like to take the opportunity just to say if you want to watch the actual painting of this painting, I've got it on my YouTube channel. Just uh, head to that and take a look. There's two versions, a 15 minute version and a nearly an hour long version with real time footage in there. Now, I've been painting for four years now and I'm at a stage where I'm just starting to get my work out there. So if you're at this stage or a new artist, then follow along with my art journey. It's good to actually share this with people at the same stage or just starting out. I'll try to give you as many tips as I can along the way. Quite a lot of videos in mind, so I'll love to show you those. And new paintings, I'll definitely pop them on here. Obviously it'll take a while to create, so it won't be every day for a new painting, but tips I like to keep coming. So I'm also on Instagram head over there and search for Lee underscore Wilson underscore artist. This is where I have most of my content at the moment. So getting back to this painting, really it only took about 30 mils all up on this canvas out of 75 that I mixed up. So I only used 25 mils of universal medium. You get quite a lot of paintings out of that. As you can see, we've just finished the edges now and this first coat's finished. Now you know what I'm going to say, I'm not going to show you the second coat, but exactly the same process. And the reason why I do a second coat is you can get away with one, but you really have to make sure that you cover everything. So two coats, and I'm, I've made sure then. Now on the bottle it says you can recoat after 30 minutes. It seems a bit tight timeline for me, so I give it at least two to three hours, preferably a day. Uh, it's mainly because of the evaporation time of the water. You could have different conditions inside your home. It could be cooler or hotter. Hotter will obviously evaporate that quicker. As you can see, I've got some left over for the second coat. So the best way to do it is wrap it up in cling wrap. Big heap of cling wrap, just wrap right over the top of it. Well, that's another episode wrapped up. Really hope you gained some useful information out of this video. Uh, if you take this couple of small tips out of it, that's fantastic. Uh, look, please leave a comment. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like. Uh, that's all good. And hit that like button if you like this video. And please subscribe along to my channel. I will have a lot more videos coming. Really take you through a lot of little tips and tricks to help you out along the way. And hit the bell so you get a notification of that happening. Once again, really thank you for watching and see you next time.